Hey guys, welcome back. This is Pernell and uh, this is Boston North Star City and we're going to be talking about engines today. Nova. Nova engines, which is what Nova Rossi used to be um, in some shape or form. But first, uh, thank you to all the subscribers. Um, I appreciate the support. I just noticed that we are at like 224 subscribers. Doesn't sound like a lot to some, but to me it's, um, you know, it's quite important, so I appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone had, you know, wonderful holidays. Uh, today is January 1st, so yeah, like I said before in my very first video, I was waiting for Nova engines to come out. Uh, now they have hit the shelves and we're gonna take a look at this. This is the B3R, which is a three port engine, 21. So we'll take it apart, we'll unbox it and all that and see how it looks. On the next video, we'll take it to the truck on one of the truckies and see what it does. So then again, uh, if you're not familiar with Novorossi, they used to be one of the best and one of the biggest engine manufacturers in the world. They had been around for so many years. I ran Novorossi engines in the early 90s. Novorossi engines in collaboration with Colari. And um, yeah, I love them. And when they shut their doors, I was pretty shocked. So now um, former employees took over and they're making this product, so we're gonna take a look at it, like I said. Um, let's take it apart, let's see how it looks, and we'll go from there. Okay, so um, here's the Nova um, B3R, made in Italy, as you know. I like the logo, um, here's the box, there's the, um, the part number. Um, if you're wondering, I got this from Bones Motorsports, you know, the fuel. Um, uh, Brent from Bones uh, shipped this really quick. And um, so I guess that's the distributor as of now in the US. I don't know if there's more to come. Um, there are other websites selling the engines, um, but I don't know if they're, um, um, you know, in the United States. So here's the box. Um, I opened this already, but put it back in the box for you guys. So this is what you get. Um, Nova, thanks you for your choice. Um, the funny thing is, they launched these engines and they didn't really do much marketing about it. Uh, a lot of people don't even know these engines are available for purchase. Um, and the funny thing is, there is no manual in here. So you need to scan this QR code, which takes you to their website, which is not ready yet, uh, still under construction. So it, I found it kind of interesting. Um, I contacted them um, last year, um, around August, and I asked when these engines were gonna be available. In August, they told me two weeks, and then eight weeks later, they told me two more weeks, and then four weeks later, they told me two more weeks. Um, and yeah, there's no marketing, there's no social media. I mean, they are on social media. They have Facebook and Instagram, um, but there's not a lot of uh, posts about these engines hitting the shelves, which I find interesting. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people wanna know because a lot of people wanna go back to, to this. So you get some stickers. Um, everything comes in that foam. Um, the car came in a plastic bag, but I took it out. Um, let's take a look at this. It's kind of a pain in the ass to remove this. They're pretty tight. There we go. Um, so here's the carb. Um, I don't know if you can appreciate it. It says Nova engines right there on the restrictor. This is a seven millimeter one. Um, looks pretty nice. Um, what I notice is they're using hex um, hardware now. Look at the needle, the high-speed needle. It's hex. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but there's a little mark on it, so you know where you are when you're adjusting it. Um, same with um, the mid-range. It's all hex, hex um, and the low speed. So that's interesting. That's different. Um, I do like different things. Um, so it's Nova right there somewhere. Um, I found it really nice. Um, the engine is, I think it's really, really good looking. I love the purple. The purple had to stay in my opinion and that's what they did. Um, 
I saw some engines, you probably did too, um, going around their social media, and they had gray um, vertical um, cooling heads. I don't know if that's only for the on-roads or that's, that was only for testing, I, I don't know, but um, I really wanted purple, so here we are. Uh, I think it's a beautiful looking engine. Um, I know what matters is performance, but nevertheless, I like good looking engines, that's ahead. Um, Nova engines B3R, this is the three port engine. Um, I think it overall looks beautiful. The back plate says Nova engines too, I hope you can appreciate it. Um, it's good looking too. Um, the casting looks beautiful. Um, I'm excited, I mean I really want to run this, um, see what it does. Um, so something interesting i don't know if this is just for introduction but the price point is phenomenal the b3r is 275 uh, us dollars and the b5r is like 345 345 um so i think it's pretty good i mean it's the three port engine with a dlc coated crank you have ceramic bearings um i mean you know all this stuff you get on a on a high engine so um i think that's pretty good the price is just just good in my opinion i mean there's other engines that offer kind of like the same stuff out there for about the same price like the flashpoint um fp02 so um yeah we'll see um we'll see how this does um beautiful little thing so we're gonna take it apart look at the internals um i don't even know what i need for this guy but i'm assuming 2 and 2.5 there we go Oh, look at that. So here's the cooling head. Um, you know, low enough. Um, really nice looking. I mean, I love this thing. It looks really good. Here's the head button. Uh, it has an O-ring. Oh, look at this. Nice. So like I said, it has an O-ring um, for DOS vibration and whatnot. Um, with the logo, part number, and Nova engines. I don't know if you can appreciate it. Really nice. Um, look at that. Look at that sleeve. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty thick. Um, that's a uh, washer. But yeah, look. Pretty, pretty thick. Um, look at the cooling on the on the crankcase so you see all those holes um, that's neat um, let's take the back plate out um, the back plate super light <laughs> you probably wouldn't even like hold paper um, it's not DLC coated but you have the back plate right there um, yeah super light um, Now let's take a look at the crank and the piston. Let's take all this out. Okay, so I was having some technical difficulties. My camera was overheating and then um, the sleeve was like really tight in, in the block. Um, but here we are. So again, here's the block. Um, like I said, I really like the, the cooling holes in here. Um, the bearing is in there, ceramic. I don't know if you can appreciate it. Um, seems like the rear one is ceramic, the front one is um, metal. Um, pretty good machining, I mean, as you will um, expect from Nova. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful crankcase, beautiful block. Um, looks really good. Um, piston, that's a beefy rod. It's a pretty beefy connecting rod. Um, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Um, here's the piston. Um, the bottom of the piston. Um, beautiful machining, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see any rough spots or anything. I mean, not that it really matters. 
but um yeah it's, it's a it's a quality product that's for sure I don't know if you can see there there you go um the crank it doesn't have a counterweight there's a ramp right there that's good um nothing much about it I mean so it's no but right there DLC coated like I said pretty nice cut in here um yeah feels light I like it and um the sleeve the sleeve is pretty beefy that I noticed immediately um beautiful piece no buy engines I don't know if you can see the logo right there um all the machining is done beautifully um there's some cuts on the bottom so um yeah i think it's a beautiful engine um it looks pretty well made i mean like any other high-end engine um i'm running a red 723 on this truggy and an ultimate racing m5s on this other truggy um you can't see them but they're there um so taking them apart um they'll look pretty good um you know comparable stuff so that's what you would expect from nova engines again the price point is is great 275 for this i think is um it's a good deal so now the most important thing is see how it runs um so yeah we'll have to break it in and throw it in one of the truckies take it to the truck and see what it does um but yeah i mean i i don't see any problems arising i think um obviously they know what they're doing they have been doing it for many years so um yeah i think it's time to put it back together and um see how it does so um Thank you again for watching. Thank you for all the support, for all the um, comments. I really appreciate it. Like I said before, if you have any suggestions, uh, leave it in the comments. If you want to see anything in particular, leave it in the comments. And um, the next video should be up sometime next week. Um, like I said, I already got a car to review. So um, we're going to take a look at it. And um, yeah, we'll keep going. There we go. Thank you guys for watching.